at New York City's Hot Toss Expo and today is Sunday and we are here with the legendary lead guitarist Bumblefoot. Hello. How are you? Very good. Yes. Now you've got something in your hand other than a other stringed than a instrument. Yeah. yeah. Tell us about it. Hot sauce. Okay. Well, my line of hot sauces. Uh, what can I tell you? Well, they go from mild to extremely brutally painful, but never at the expense of the flavor. The flavor is never sacrificed. Flavor always has to come first, and these are gluten-free, these are peanut allergy safe, they are vegan, they are all natural ingredients, no preservatives or anything bad for you. This stuff is all good. So, let's see, what can I tell you? The ones in my hand, Bumbalicious. This one. Yes, that one. It is a mild sauce that goes great as a hot sauce or even a barbecue sauce. It has... Damn, I just had a mind blank because there's a camera in my face. Oh my. <laughs> it has... <laughs> look, look to your left and there's a pretty blonde there. Jennifer. Hey! Did that help? Yes, it did. It has cherry bourbon and chipotle. And then we took out the bourbon and look what we did. We added chocolate to it. And that one is Bumble Babe sauce. So that's a sweet hot it's a, sauce. Yeah, it's, it's, it's more sweet. like a mole kind of. Kind of yeah. It's like a sweet mole with a little bit of a smoky taste to it. Then we also have normal. No, there's nothing normal about hot sauce or music. No, no. But if there was, I guess this is about is is like. Well, actually, I named it Normal because I have an album called Normal, ah. so it's named after... Some of these sauces are named after my albums. So there's Normal, Uncool, Abnormal. This one is a tomato-based sauce, but is more complex than your average table sauce. This one has Mediterranean herbs where it could almost work with pizza and Italian food, as well as what you usually use this stuff on, like Mexican food or Chinese food or anything like that. Then a medium heat sauce, Uncool, which has cumin and curry. And this one goes great with Thai food, Indian food, it goes good That'd on lamb. That would be great on, on quesadillas or even on like spring rolls. Happy normal. How you all doing? Good. This one has Caribbean jerk and tamarind and jalokias. It is a hot sauce. This was a first place prize winner at Zest Fest in Dallas in the extra hot category. It's a good sauce. I personally use this all the time on steak and chili. Love it. And then the hottest of all my sauces, am I allowed to curse on this thing? Um, sure, why not? Okay. The hottest of my sauces, this one is called Bumble Fucked. Now this one, <laughs> it's six million Scovilles, and it's got ginger and tropical fruit. It also has ginseng and caffeine, like an energy shot. It's, it's pretty hot. So how did you get involved with this line of product? It's quite unique. I mean, it's not anything new to rock and roll. It's, you love to tour, you love to eat. And you miss good food when you're on the road. That's just it. I love to eat. And I know what I like to taste in the hand. I love spicy food, and these are all ideas that I've had for years that I just wanted to get out. And I crossed paths with the wonderful people here at K. John's Fiery Foods, and we got together and made it happen. So this is fairly new. We just rolled them out in January. That's fantastic. And um, how do people acquire a bottle of uh, Bumblefoot hot sauce? You can acquire a bottle on the interwebs. If you go to kjohns, C-A-J-O-H-N-S dot com. Yes. It says it right there on the bottom. And also, I, you know, we're getting more and more distributors. Find, the hardest thing is just finding good international distributors so that people can get it all over the world because all the time people are hitting me up and they're like, I'm in, you know, I'm in Emirates. Where can I find a bottle of your stuff? And it's, the shipping is so expensive internationally on these sauces, so we need it's a glass international. Yeah. So you need international distributors that are there that can get it to all the stores around the world. So we're working on that. Now, can we get you to sign this one so we can donate it to charity? I would love to. Absolutely. Fantastic. So I'll just put my name on there to any to anyone. Just sign your name, and then we will donate that fabulous bottle to charity. That's great. 
Now, which charity are we going? Uh, well, we are connected with Superheroes Hill, so we'll look for a children's charity to oh, donate it to. Because I know you're very active with children's organizations. Can you want to name your charity? Any, I trust you guys to, okay. to choose like, whichever one you think is... Okay, so they can then acquire that and uh, have a piece of history. Well, thank you so much and good luck at the uh, convent, at the expo. Thank you so much.